yourself to just a normal sense of balance. A lot of energy. A lot has happened. Just bring yourself here. Let's 
you 
feeling of you ever met someone who just makes you smile and you're like oh my gosh there's something about this person's energy that is just so attractive and for me it's mostly energy like I love a beautiful woman but like the most important part to me when I was dating I'm not dating but when I was dating was um, seeing someone who had just a I want to use the word delicious, a delicious energy, something about them um, that just really made it uh, so appealing, they were so fascinating, or who doesn't like a good mystery from time to time, that is lovely, lovely energy, anyway, I want you to connect with that sensation for whomever that is for you, I'm sure it could be a couple people too, like, I like this from that person, or that from this person, whatever, and just start to feel, feel your cheek get a little bit um, blush and rosy in that sensation in like the pit of your stomach like oh my gosh who is that and bring that bring that to the forefront I have to think about the first time I met my wife I'll do it like that <laughs> bring it to the forefront bring it to the forefront bring it to the forefront and just feel that energy and put this figure, it can be just someone, you can give them an actual face, um, or you can just make them kind of just like a, like an outline, um, but as you are in your energy with this person, whomever this is, just start to feel those sensations that we were just describing while being with that person. Having that person put a smile on your face. What is, does it feel like to hold their hand? What does it feel like the anticipation of the next time that you're going to see them? You're like, oh my gosh, I cannot wait to see them. You got to pick out your best outfit. You know, you got to have the nice smells and whatever of like what kind of fragrance that you want to put on um, and all that stuff. What do you want to do? Like what is the, the fun stuff that you can do? All of that fun stuff. I'm for it. I'm for it. Now, allowing that energy to trickle on down all the chakras around the body and all the way to the feet, a gesture of just feeling it completely like you probably don't think about this, but what does your kneecap feel or what does your ankles feel or what do you think it feels in those parts of your bodies that you don't really think about when you meet someone that you really like, you know, your ankle might itch, I don't know, people have their different things. <laughs> Just, you know, don't overthink it. Just go with that connection. And just activate all of those things, okay? Breathe in here. Thank you. 
yourself into thinking that you need someone to make you happy. You make you happy first, and the right person and people will show up. If you lead from that, you will get to the goal sooner than looking outside of yourself. I promise you that. I promise, 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 promise. Now that you feel very empowered being the beautiful energy that you are, I always believe that working with the energy of the universe is a mix of that uh, believing things that are beyond our our senses, as well as the practicality of every day. So, if you want somebody, put yourself out there and figure out a way that you feel comfortable putting yourself out there. Don't be a creep, but also don't be afraid. Put yourself out there. Find a space where you feel comfortable and be yourself. And now you know, based off of how you felt in these moments, how you should expect to be treated by other people, as well as that is the type of love that you give out to. Now, a lot of people will have boundary issues where they want something so bad that they just want to throw everything at the wall and see what sticks. And sometimes that can create codependence. It can scare people off or put people in pretty dangerous situations. Instead, take your time. Literally go as slow as possible. Have fun. Just have fun getting to know people. It's much more valuable that way. So, let's bring this energy into you. Okay, let's get started. Dear Universe, in all for the highest vibrational good only, please connect us to our highest intentions and validate information from our highest self only. Please release what we need to let go and embrace what allows us to grow. Let our journey encompass the lineages, traditions, religions, and spiritual paths that bring light out to us to share with the others. I say all of this in the name of I am. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. And understanding the power of I am. Because what you say you are is powerful. When you say you're strong, you're wise, you're resilient, you become that. When you say you're not those things, you become that too. So that's why we say it in the name of I am. Because you grow, create the life you want and you decide what path you go on, okay? No one can decide that for you, okay, sweetness? So, let's get into healthy love. So, inhale, exhale, and let's just cleanse out any love that isn't for your highest vibrational good, or just, it's ready, it's ready to move on, okay? The love is maybe old, old versions that maybe it was for you then, but it's not for you now. So let's move that out, okay? And remove that from your energy. Okay. Surrendering to this newness. Got it, got it, got it. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Releasing and letting it go. Releasing and letting 
yes, 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 you got it. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Love it. 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 And breathe this energy in. Holding each moment for what it is worth. And see the smiles of these different people. Some you know, some you don't know. And how it makes you feel. Does it make you feel loved? Does it make you feel seen? Does it make you feel supported? Does it make you feel heard? That is what healthy love is, sweetness. That's what healthy love is. So let's just around that energy and just give that, okay? Give all that good healthy love. <laughs> and just bring that into you, to your area. And just exhale and release. Just flowing in, flowing out. Are you feeling? 
of just like a oh. 
I think it is a beautiful, beautiful thing that you can do. 
Also, you can use the comment section as a place for a diary or a journal as you are collecting your thoughts during your self-care practice and to support others. This is a safe, inclusive space, and this is a space for that energy to support each other and to support ourselves. Okay. So I'm going to go in now with some cinnamon. You all know it's my, my favorite herb. It's always been my favorite herb, uh, cinnamon and specifically peppermint. I like spearmint too though. But cinnamon and mint. Oh man. Okay. So just breathing in here. And this is giving you grounding. You know, there is nothing wrong with wanting a fairy tale kind of thing or wanting this kind of um, fantasy of something. There's nothing wrong with that. But you also have to be connected to the fact that it starts within you. It really does. It starts within you. You have to be grounded in reality to know that someone's not going to come in and solve every one of your problems and love you a thousand percent and X, Y, and Z. You may see somebody of quality and later on you reflect that, but at the end of the day, you solve all your problems. You treat yourself with quality and the right people will come in and it will be easy. It'll be easy for them to come in because you're not requiring all this stuff. Let me give you a quick cheat code, okay? A quick life hack. The quickest way. The quickest way. I'm about to give y'all some tea, okay? The quickest way to attract anybody is to be happy. To have a good time. Do not put pressure on anything. I don't care what space of life you're in. You know that you may want X, Y, and Z or this, this, and that. That is fine. But you will attract the energy you actually want by taking the pressure off, having a good time, and just seeing what quality energy comes around you. Because when you go at it from a, a state of just er, 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 that's what you're going to get. You're going to get love that's always pushing back. I know it seems like a little counterintuitive that if you want something real or you want something long term that you should just have a good time. But this is what ends up happening if you go out looking for something long term and real right off the bat. You will get something long term and you really have to work on it. <laughs> but what you really want is you want someone who will stay the course or you want the people surrounding you to have beautiful loving energy and that only comes from having fun. So it's almost an element of surrender and trusting the universe. You don't got to be in control of everything. Let it go. The universe will always deliver. Just giving you a little bit of tea, okay? Just giving you a little bit of tea. Just giving you a little bit of tea, okay? Balancing this out. So let me just work on this energy a little bit. And I want you, every time you exhale, I want you to let something go. Something that is no longer serving you and taking up space that you're just like, fuck this, I don't need this no more. You know, you got to get to a point in life where you're like, I don't want to surround myself by that. And it's not just in a romantic sense. It's family, it's friends, it's work, it's all that stuff. But most importantly, I need you to hold yourself accountable first too. It's you. You set the tone and your patience becomes very small for anything that is not at your caliber of love because you know how nice you treat you, you know. And spoiling yourself isn't, um, isn't enabling yourself. Spoiling yourself is saying, I'm a, whenever I have a sense of doubt, I'm going to give myself the benefit of the doubt. And whenever I feel nervous, I'm going to encourage myself. Whenever I need to take a break, I'm going to be understanding, you know, just saying sweet words to yourself at the end of every practice. I always say, remember to be sweet to yourself because that is it. The more that we're sweet to ourselves, the easier it is for us to be resilient and things. the more that we're harder. Oh, why can't you do this? Why didn't you do this right? Da -da 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 -da. The harder it is to get past just knowing that the things we experience in life literally can be exponentially changed simply 
obsessing about the external. It comes from loving yourself, building up self-love, being a projection of that, and then people see you and you can finally connect. So I'm trying to get you hit, baby. It's a different approach than what you really think. It's not about what you're wearing, what you look like, what you're talking about. It's not about that at all. It's all about your energy. And the focus is to the self first, rather than being validated by the external. But we're going to work on a little bit of romance today, okay? <laughs> so let's clear and cleanse away anything in your life, okay? That's taking up too much space. It's taking up too much room. It's like, uh, <laughs> and preventing you from just enjoying the love surrounding you. So let's remove that. Let's take that all the way out. Just inhaling and exhaling here. Release, relax, let it go. And as you know, babies, we start off our session with a prayer. It is not a religious prayer. It is just a prayer to root us in our individual healing experience and bring us together as a community and a collective so we coexist and we can think different stuff. It doesn't have to be groupthink. You can think different things and it's okay. But we're just together coexisting and being great, you know, the way that we are. So, because consent matters, do I have your permission to say a prayer? universe and all for the highest vibrational good only. Please connect us to our highest intentions and validate information from our highest self only. Please release what we need to let go and embrace what allows us to grow. Let our journey encompass the lineages, religions, traditions, and spiritual paths that bring light out through us to share with others. I say all of this in the name of I am. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. Okay. Bringing that energy back in. And just getting us in the zone, in a vibrational state that's very balanced. Now, start to breathe that in. The last time you felt so connected to something and it made you just smile. Breathe that into your body. Exhale, release. Again, into the body. Exhale, release. Final breath into the body. Exhale, release. Now, let it go. Okay, let it go, 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 and just be in this moment. Allow these beautiful smiles to fill the air, fill your energy, fill your movement, fill your excitement. Allow all of these things to be, allow them all.
experience. 
So you have to 
you've been struggling with for years. It works for some people, don't get me wrong, but like, look, life is too short for you to be making yourself so small in order to work through somebody else's shit. What you need to be doing is you were born in this life to live out a very important purpose that probably has nothing to do with making somebody figure out their self-worth by put, like pushing your self-worth down, okay? You have all these goals and gifts you have to share. You gotta get the distractions out the way, okay? So let that person go. If it's somebody that you've been dealing with for a long time, back and forth, and it's just not working, it's not going where you want it to go, let it go. If it's one of those situations where you don't feel like it's what you want, but maybe it's not the worst that you've seen, let it go, okay? If it's one of those things where you're just like, you know, you just want to be with someone so bad, so you're just looking, 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 but it doesn't feel quite right, let it go. Do not be afraid to be by yourself and trust in your love, because when you're able to do that, you create this space in which the universe can then send you what you're looking for. Now, the way I try to do it is I was like, baby, have fun along the way. I say that all the time, you know, you can, you know, exit stage left and have a great time doing it like this was fun <laughs> you skedaddle okay or if you want to date or do whatever you know have fun but protect yourself be different when you approach love and trust your intuition so many times we neglect the intuition that we have because we're looking at someone's potential rather than who they actually are believe them based off of who they are. Look at your own potential because that's the only potential you can control. You can't control someone else's potential. Everybody has potential in everything. But you're hoping that that person grows into the person that you want them to be. Is that the person that they want to be? Let it go. A lot of times when you hold on to things you need to let go, it's more of an addiction and an obsession than it is of actual love. I actually learned this word. I'm reading in uh, my personal book club, a uh, bell hooks all about love. And the word that's used is cathexis, C-A-T-H-E-X-I-S. And what it talks about is it's basically what a lot of people think love is, but it's almost like the obsession or the constant mental energy towards a person, an idea, a situation, but specifically in an unhealthy way. And we often think or have come to believe that love is hard, that love requires sacrifice, that love requires, you know, working through ish. And honestly, that's not the type of sacrifice, you know, you don't have to sacrifice with, you know, somebody's cheating on you or you're cheating on them because you don't know what, what you want. You don't have to sacrifice with somebody being disrespectful to you or you're being disrespectful to them because they're not what you want. That's not love. That is cathexis. It's a word, you know, and it's okay. It's okay to have that realization and start to make your movement into something better. And guess what? It doesn't matter if you feel like you're the villain or you're the victim in the situation. When you start to make changes, everything else shifts. I guarantee for a lot of people who maybe feel like they feel bad because they're like, oh, they wish that you know, maybe they feel like the villain. As soon as they start getting better, the person that they're with is so used to who they were that they're going to try to change roles. I mean, it's just like, it's, it's really, it's, it's toxic. <laughs> it is what it is, you know? And so sometimes you just got to let it go. Just let it go. Let it go. Release it, you know? <sighs> Exhale. And fill yourself up with all this love so that you can go back into love in a new way. Because if you hear anything that I say, hear this. Love is not the person. It is the purpose. Love is not the person, it is the purpose. You may have had your interactions with people, and it may have been love, but it wasn't the love that you're, you know, looking for. That is okay. Don't associate the love with the person. It was the purpose. Did you learn what you needed from that? Did it serve its purpose? Now, when you're ready to move on to a better love, that love will probably come from another person because the purpose is different. The person will be different. It's okay. Love will come. Love will be there. Love will surround you. But it's not the person. It's the purpose. Connect with the purpose and allow yourself to be open to the right person. 
sweet 